When you administrate your 48, there are several things that you can do to optimize the workflow, the way that you work. One of them is address object placement. Coming up. The following tip may seem a bit obvious, but it is helpful if you're dealing with hundreds of address objects. So let's look at the different interface. We have a LAN interface, we have a DMZ interface, and we have a WAN interface. Now let's create an address object. Let's just move over here, create new, and let's name our object PC2. Now let's just give it um, an IP address, and there we have it. Now. One of the obvious things to do is to click OK. Now, once you click OK, when you head over to your policy and create a new policy, let's just create one. Let's name it LAN to WAN. The incoming interface is the LAN interface. The outgoing is our WAN. Now, when you press on sources, you will see PC2. The reason is that you have actually didn't choose a specific interface. Let's move back to the addresses, to our PC2. Let's edit it. And here we can see that the interface is any. We're not choosing a specific interface. Now, if we will choose the interface to be on the DMZ interface, let's move back to the firewall policy, create new. And let's just choose sources. Now we just can't see the address object that we have chosen, that we have created. The thing is that if you have dozens and hundreds of address objects and you select interfaces any, you will always see them when you choose source address. If you choose a specific interface, you will only see them when the specific interface is chosen on your policy. That is one of the best practices to work with address objects. You do not need to have the address objects for any interface be more granular and choose it directly to that interface that you will use on your policy.